This is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, brought to you via YouTube. And it would be fabulous if you subscribed to our YouTube page, with the promise in the future that at different times we'll have subjects that are only available to those who subscribe. So please, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's easy. Click the subscribe button. And at the same time, click the like button too. Tonglaw police reported the killing of a Frenchman and a Thai woman and the discovery of another wounded Frenchman at a cold meat supply company in the capital. The midday shooting followed what staff described as a heated argument between non-Thais, which was heard but not witnessed. The two dead were killed with the same weapon. No word on the injured third who was hospitalised. All three are believed to have been partners in the two-year-old company which supplies hotels and eateries. Bangkok's main airport saw a security breach yesterday. A man on a motorbike was chased by security guards as he rode, then ran around inside the secure airport area for over 10 minutes. Brandishing a pistol, which proved to be a fake, he slipped through a security gate as it opened to allow a truck to leave, then pointed the gun at guards and attempted to break into a passenger area. Once captured, he was found to be carrying his fake gun, a homemade axe and a pair of scissors. It's been established that he was high on drugs, but no reason for his actions has been released by police. Airport authorities told the media that standard operational procedures, which are planned for any breach, were put into place, and there was no need for authorities to fire on the man, and further, that at no time were any passengers or crew at risk during the incident. More on the air crash in Canada that saw one of the alleged gunmen said to have murdered Indian gangster Jimmy Sandhu, a former Canadian resident on Phuket a few months back in a hail of bullets. Jean Carl Larkamp is confirmed dead by Canadian authorities, who also named another of the four dead as another gangster on bail and facing murder charges. Authorities are combing the crash scene to establish the cause, and others are working to establish what the end game was for the flight, as the two men had been previously at odds with each other in a battle to gain control of the crime side of their city. Three jailbirds escaped from a Nongkai prison hospital after being taken there with COVID. Two quickly recalled as they hid in a derelict property nearby, but the third, a man from Laos, in jail on drug charges, is still on the lam, and police are watching border areas, in case he makes it to the crossings with his own country. Meanwhile at home and in our own region, the province this morning reports just 296 new cases of COVID discovered through PCR testing in the previous 24 hours. 51 in Chombury, 89 in Si La Cha, 54 in Banglamung and 46 in Satahip. In the same period at medical facilities, 1,860 people failed ATK testing. Nationally, the figures are low as well, 9,790, with 17,109 recovered and 54 deaths attributed to the virus during the same period. The cooler weather continues today with highs of 27 promised by the Met Office and lows of 25. Along with the guarantees of storms at any time, local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.